You know, I actually uh, didn't know what to expect. I was really excited about uh, the idea of being in Europe, and I'd heard wonderful things about Leipzig, but I didn't overthink it. I, I barely even looked at a map. I just thought I've been given this incredible opportunity, and uh, I uh, loved the whole package, the teaching and the, 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 the terms of the Picador Guest Professorship. Um, and so it was actually a real surprise when I uh, fell in love with it as hard as I did in the first few, you know, weeks and then months. And, and, and even now, I, I think they joke about me being the Picador professor who never leaves because I'm, I'm constantly trying to plot a way to uh, come back. I have a lot of projects I still want to do here. And uh, there's so many neighborhoods that I've fallen in love with. And then I, I made some of the best friends that... Um, ever here. There's a, a great group of people in all sorts of both my colleagues and, and in various industries here that have been so special to me. So it turned out, I think, to be one of the best experiences I, of my uh, professional life. Most impressive. Or, um, God, I learned so much um, from uh, German people and German culture in general. Um, you know, I, there's such a, uh, you know, a sense, it's both this, a sort of intrinsic sense of sort of ethics and dignity that I've been really inspired by here. And, um, then just, you know, being in this, I've been in all sorts of academic bubbles, but being in this particular academic bubble has been very sweet because, um, my colleagues are, really and truly um, some of the most um, happy, healthy, s sane, brilliant people I could have ever hoped to work with. So that that's definitely going to be unforgettable. I mean, I definitely had some major health issues and some big battles while I was here. Um, and so in that way, too, the city becomes kind of special for you when you go through kind of big life stuff. Um, and you know, I, I met a lot of doctors, was in a lot of um, hospitals, things like that, um, uh, you know, from the moment I landed here and I had, you know, an abscess on my head. I had all sorts of gory things go on, but the, there's just everyday people, professionals, so many people that I encountered here were just so wonderful to me. And so that was really, really delightful. Um, and then I also just love the city itself, you know, the, the look of the city itself, it's incredible diversity. Um, you know, you can go through various neighborhoods and feel like you're in a completely different, um, different this country. Um, that's been great. Um, and then I, I think I just really enjoyed, um, being given the, the Picador guest professor, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the sort of title here, too, because um, it allowed me to do, the readings were amazing, the um, all sorts of um, interviews I did, all sorts of extra work I did with that, it was all just very rich and, and fulfilling, um, but I guess it all builds up to saying, well, I love my colleagues, but I think I, more than anything, I was so inspired by my students. And uh, it took a while to even realize that some of them were close in age with me. It was like, how can they be this incredible? But um, they were amazing. And I was so inspired. And that sort of cultural exchange that went on with us was just really, really uh, uh, precious to me. And so I don't think I'll ever forget these students. Um, you know, I, they they were truly, truly uh brilliant, vibrant, and uh, just intellectually curious uh, people. So I hope, I hope I'll stay in touch with them. I, I actually I have been teaching for the last, yeah, I, I, that's my like main hat in the U.S. So I, this is maybe my sixth institution that I've taught at, but it was very different here, um, you know, in that uh, what was, you know, the expected of the courses were quite different. Um, you know, at first I was wanting to give them these impossible syllabi, you know, and just pile it on the way we do in the U.S., but, um, you know, I was told 
slow down with them and, and instead of like six novels, why don't we look at three? And uh, that, I, I ended up learning a lot from doing it that way too. The German system really appealed to me, the, the fact that um, it's not necessarily less work, it's just richer work, I think, it can be. And so um, my literature class was totally delightful um, because we really got to dig into the, the, the immigrant fiction that we were looking at. Um, we had incredible conversations. And then the creative writing class was so, it was wonderful, the students I had in there, and then the students from the, the you know, the Literature Institute here too, um, the Creative Writing Institute, rather. And uh, they just, the people that were in that class, I mean, they weren't even taking it for credit. They were just there because they wanted to be. And uh, really amazing artists. I mean, it, I, I've never had a class where I just thought, wow, you guys can really all do this um, easily. And um, so the talent uh, w was outstanding. Um, yeah, and you know, and then the students are so generous. They always want to show you the city and they want to tell you stuff about it and, and meet up with you. And I've, I've really enjoyed um, becoming friends with some of them. So that's been very, very fun. I think so, definitely. I mean, I, I uh, you know, the funny thing is that I've had, I have friends that are going to be here in this position, but also um, I have some projects that I, I, I discovered while I was here um, or uncovered for myself while I was here. And so I want to. I would love to come back and uh, do the research for those. Uh, I think probably some part of my brain just uh, said, "Find a reason to be here <laughs> because it's just too great, and it's too many people you care about, and too many places you adore." But I, I did um, stumble on some interesting projects that I'd like to finish. Some collaborations with people too. So I hope in the next year, I will uh, be here and uh, and you know, uh, even get to know the city even more. Um, and, and I'm, and I'm staying a little extra anyways. Uh, so I'll still, I'll still be hanging out when the weather is actually incredible as it has started to become. <laughs>